I never called it impermanence though. And I have to think about that word a little bit more, but it's always <laughs> the way you're describing it is, is coming from grief and loss and everything. And when I talk about it in my letters in terms of like, we, this is just a moment in time. This is just a, a snapshot. Um, and that whatever you're feeling now is just, just a tiny little blip, right? In your whole life. Like if you, if you're going to live to be, I don't know, 80 years old or whatever, if you're a 20 year old and this quarter sucks, I mean, <laughs> one year from now, it's going to be different. Right. So like, and then like 50 years from now, none of this will matter. Um, not in the way that you think it matters now. Um, and so I try to, I try to give students, I guess, perspective on that. Um, and I think it's really hard to have that perspective because if you are 20, mm. you know, being 20 is different than being 40. Right. And, um, and different than being 80 and so like your whole life has basically just been <laughs> those 20 years and what is that of those 20 years like the first 15 are basically like throwaways right they're just, you're just throwing <laughs> out. none of it matters and so yeah. like only the last five years that's not always are, true are, like, making years <laughs> I don't know but it's just like you feel like it's so everything's uh magnified right because mm -hmm. you've only been alive for 20 years um and so like a quarter of a year has an outsized sort of like place in your life than if it was a quarter of a year of an 80 year old you know mm -hmm. um and so like i try to i guess remind students of that um and a lot of, and I'm talking about a quarter, but a lot of times when somebody is feeling like, uh, when something has hit them or whatever, um, or they're feeling stress about on like, like during finals week, that's just a week, you know, yeah. <laughs> right. It's just a week, one week later in during spring break or whatever, things will feel completely different. I have to remind myself of that too during finals. It, you really have to, <laughs> right. you know, I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. But we get ourselves into these situations, you know. I mean, our whole, and this is this is like the rant coming out, I guess. The whole structure <laughs> of our lives and how we run, how we run our society and everything about like making, basically making money to try to stay, to survive and everything, um, you know. And the whole way that the a university is structured where we have where we have these terms with these deadlines and and mm -hmm. um, final and stuff like that is it, everything is is structured around this notion of productivity um which i just think is bullshit like it's just capitalist bullshit um and um we've done it to ourselves you know the stress that the stress that a student is feeling during finals week is a lot of it is because we as a society have set them up for that stress. Um, and it's not their fault. Like, <laughs> and it's really hard to not see that when you are stuck in that moment, mm. you know? And unfortunately, I don't think, I don't know if this is something that you can actually tell anyone. Um, you, like, you know, like think about when you were 20 and like some older person said, well, you're, you'll get wiser as you grow older. Or like, I know better than you because I've, I'm older than you and I've, I've seen more things or whatever. And, and, and you're just not wise yet. And like, as a 20 year old, you hear that and like, that's total bullshit. I know what I'm doing. Right. But then now that I'm, I'm not 20 anymore, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> like <laughs> my parents were onto something. <laughs> <laughs> right and and you tell them like, that <laughs> so so like even though like in these letters i say these things i really don't know if i'm really reaching anyone like i don't know if they even understand like or can even possibly understand what i'm trying to say yet mm. without having 
more like life experiences and everything you know that's interesting because I, I think about the difference for me I I was uh at the end of my sophomore year in high school when I just I decided to go full-time at college doing post-secondary enrollment option and I remember being terrified of going to college and I was like oh man am I I'm, you know, I'm not gonna be with my friends or this or blah, 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 blah. And, and then when I got to college, I was like, this is amazing, <laughs> you know? And I, and my, one of my mothers would often remind me, you know, of that moment. She's like, remember when you were terrified to go to college and how like, <laughs> and it was like almost hard to believe. I'm like, really? Did that conversation happen? I'm like, oh yeah. I remember where we were walking around the block and everything. And then, um, but I, I think it's interesting too, cause I've been going through some old photos and stuff recently where sometimes going, like literally looking at yourself from when you were much younger at a, a different point in time, even from the difference of being like an eight year old versus a 12 year old, like there actually, there are a lot of changes that happen. So you could almost like encourage, you know, uh, teenagers and young adults, as well as I guess even before that, you know, kids and stuff to think about kind of like how much things really do change and how much they change as well, which I think is hopefully a good thing. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm being a little exaggerating. <laughs> a little 